Shut up and sit down. We're off to it's the Essex Vegan Festival. Very much looking forward to it. We're going to see how different it is from last year. Parking up time at Charter Hall, which is where the Essex Vegan Festival is being held. Very exciting stuff. Yeah, no Okay, so I'm here and it's incredibly busy. It's busier than last year's so one. I'm gonna have a look and see what I can find. I've already spotted some vegan hot chocolate and I've already spotted some vegan cheese. So I'm going to try all of those and maybe even purchase this one. The Green Grill actually had the longest queue out of all of the eating places today. They were serving three different burgers and one of the green buns was even coloured using matcha. Okay, so I got a wrap from um, the Greek vegan deli and it's got falafel inside it, it's also got the vegan halloumi which I'm really excited to try and it's got lots of different sauces and um, lots of salad as well. It looks absolutely delicious, everything's really piping hot so I'm going to get stuck in. I tried some samples from Noi Foods and they are different types of spreads. The pecan pie was by far the most delicious one and the superfood coconut was also great. They were two for £12 on all jars or individually they were £6.50. These cakes from Elspeth's Kitchen just look absolutely delicious today. They are cheese cakes and they are made from um, overnight cashews. You've got the mint chocolate one there, the bounty bar which we actually bought and tasted absolutely delicious. Then you've got the raspberry ripple. There's also a strawberry cheesecake which we brought home as well. back from the Essex Vegan Festival. It was really, really good this year. Um, I would say less sweet-based products, for example, brownies and cupcakes, there were an abundance of those last year, more savoury items and merchandise this year. I actually prefer savoury merchandise anyway, so that was okay for me. Saying that, you'll see what I bought in a moment and it's definitely not savoury. So, um, I have tons 
of leaflets to go through and read. I love collecting them, so when I get home I can literally read through them, have a look and bookmark them on my phone. I also like to remember the products that I buy and where they've come from and I also like to give them a bit of a shout out on social media, on my Instagram page and of course now on YouTube. So my first product that I bought, Essential by Nature, is the brand which is lavender face cream, it can also be body cream and I thought they were just absolutely gorgeous. I bought two of them because I can give one to my mum for Mother's Day and I can also keep one for myself. I was really intrigued by this. Um, it's really, really soft, not tacky at all on the skin. It's super thick and it smells absolutely heaven, heavenly like lavender. So I can use that right before bed, get me in the mood to sleep and also be a great face base. She also said that this goes really well under makeup so I'm looking forward to applying that as part of my skincare routine. And as soon as I went over to the stall, um, the lady was so inviting and she automatically asked me, hey, what's your skin type? So I said, it's dry, normal to dry, but I'd say dry on the whole. Um, I love the smell of lavender, so she actually gave me suitable for normal and dry skin, but there are a complete range of different ones as well. It's sheer butter, apricot kernel oil, coconut oil, lavender oil, um, and then naturally occurring essential oils in that one. It says gently massage over body to leave skin feeling nourished. I can't wait to use this. Anything that is slightly thick and works to moisturize, um, I am that person. I just love buying products that are nice and thick and work well on the skin, making my skin nice and soft. It was really nice on my skin though. She put a little bit just on here and it's still so smooth and soft and it smells really good as well. The other brand that I was kind of heading towards, it was just the um, price for me that stopped me from buying it today because I gave myself a cap and a budget. It's the Uvo skincare, I hope I've said that right. This is amazing. They were also there last year for the Essex Vegan Festival um, in the same place and could not recommend them more. It's just unfortunate that I didn't have enough money left over because I kind of picked out what products I was going to get at the festival and I didn't have enough money left over to buy their ones. They're slightly more expensive. These two were two for £10 and one of their ones was I think 14 or 16 pounds. They have everything from buttercream, um, body lotions, face lotions, which is the one that I was going to buy. They also have um, super soft soaps with no chemicals or parabens in, in them, um, as well as perfume oils and lip balms, etc. So check those out as well. That's a big shout out to them. The second product that I bought today was by Fit for a King. And Fit for a King has activated charcoal um, toothpaste. I currently use a charcoal toothpaste anyway. So I wanted to see a different version, an actual homemade version. And hey, this pot is gonna last me a while. You only need a slight bit on your toothbrush and then it will automatically foam up and it has a really beautiful, I'm gonna pop it open, really beautiful texture. And it also has a fantastic smell as well. It smells really, really strong of peppermint. I'm gonna read out the back for you. It says it removes toxins, strengthens gums, removes stains, restores natural whiteness and freshens breath for longer. And the last part of this video is a little sweet treat. As I said, it's not savoury even though that's my favourite. I remember last year that I bought uh, like a massive tub of olives. It went ridiculously fast and they are quite expensive. But the stall actually was there this time round as well. They were there last year and they were actually here as well. As soon as I go past it, I can't help but just be like, oh, I really wanna buy some olives. But I refrained from that and actually bought something different this time because I want to try all of the different vegan companies that were there. This one is called Elsabeth's Kitchen and they produce sweet treats. The one that I ate there was the Bounty Bar and it's literally just like a thick layer of coconut, desiccated coconut, I think coconut oil to bind it and perhaps some dark chocolate on top. Really, really good. I love Bounty and I love coconut. It's one of my favorite things. It was a four for 10 pound offer. Mmm, it's grummy. Raspberry Ripple and Strawberry Cheesecake. Now both of these are made using um, blended cashew nuts. So you soak them overnight and then you blend them into a almost um, a cheesecake paste, if you like. Because we were literally only going there to buy the Bounty Bar, um, and that was £3.50 to have a slice. However, he then started to upsell four for a £10, so I thought, you know what, this guy's, this guy's doing a good job. So I asked him what his favourite flavour was, he said the Raspberry Ripple, and that's why I've got two of those. I believe they're rose petals. 
on the strawberry one. Very scrumptious. The treats can be um, frozen for up to eight weeks, so that actually works really well for me because I'm not too much of a sweet eater. So the fact that I can come back to it is and defrost it is a really good thing for me. So I'm gonna <laughs> eat those over the next one or two weeks. I know what you're probably thinking, just eat the treats. All of these products and also leaflets I'm going to put as links down below. So check those out because I'm going to literally try and link as many things as I saw today as possible.